is gone from my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a calm in my way For today's Grim Adventure, we have a little bit of a deep cut. You see, here at the Grim Life Collective, we are big fans of Halloween. We are huge fans of horror. But it also turns out that we are huge, and I'm talking huge, huge, huge fans of Ryan Gosling. Now when I say that we're fans of Ryan Gosling, you might be asking yourself, wait a second, do they love the movie Blade Runner 2049? Yes, we do. Do they love the movie Drive? Why, yes, we do. Or what about the movie Barbie that recently just came out? It's actually really good and we're fans of it. But dare I say, maybe the Grim Life Collective are fans of The Notebook. I think not. We're actually big fans of Ryan Gosling's band that plays Halloween music called Dead Man's Bones. Now, baby girl, I have a question for you. Holding that record in the cemetery, can you feel the pa pa power? Pa pa power? Right there. On the streets, burn the cars. Broken glass, broken hearts. Now, in case you didn't know this, Ryan Gosling, yes, Ryan Gosling had a band. Back in 2009, him and a friend of his, Zach Shields, started a band where they played Halloween music that talked about ghosts and monsters. It was like a love story, if you will, to monsters that they grew up with. They toured a little bit, but they also released an album, which you just saw, and then they also put out a music video. And in fact, the reason we're standing right underneath this tree this is where they shot the music video. We're gonna talk about that. And oh yeah, looking on the inside, it's like, like a class photo. <laughs> now before we walk around the cemetery lining up shots from the music video, as well as visiting a few other Dead Man's Bones locations, because there's really not that many. It was a, just like a short project in Ryan Gosling's career. Let's talk a little bit more about the band. Like I said, 2009, him and friend Zach Shields started the band, and every time they played, including when they went on tour, they had a children's choir with them. And they started out here in LA, and the first children's choir that would perform with them at Bob Barker's Marionette Theater, I think it was, they were like the house band there, they had the Silver Lake Conservatory Children's Choir, which was started by Red Hot Chili Peppers, Flea. As for the start of Dead Man's Bones, Ryan Gosling and Zach Shields became friends because of their mutual love for the Haunted Mansion. Now the story goes that Zach Shields, when he was growing up, he was so obsessed with ghosts and monsters that his family actually put him in therapy. And Ryan Gosling, supposedly he grew up in a haunted house and it was so bad that his family decided to move. So at an early age, the love for ghosts and monsters were instilled in both of them, and they created Dead Man's Bones. Now, believe it or not, finding the cemetery was actually kind of hard. There is no mention of the name of the cemetery or the address or what part of LA they filmed this music video, Name and Stone in, but I knew that there were people sitting in a giant tree in the middle of the cemetery, and I searched for that, and I found it. Now, the start of the music video, you see the title card for Name in stone, you see this hill tombstone, and behind it there's a pipe, looks like the pipe's a lot shorter. But as the music starts playing, it opens and the camera comes over this way, and not only do you see hill, but you see Woodbury. And then the camera pans over and you see kids in Halloween costumes, as well as adults sitting up in this tree. And pretty much standing right where Jessica is, is Ryan Gosling, playing guitar. Now, an interesting fact for the Dead Man's Bones world, he called himself Baby Goose.
Now we're just gonna go ahead and acknowledge this. You might be hearing a helicopter because right across the street, something happens. Somebody's getting arrested and there's a helicopter circling around and it gets rather loud and you can hear him say, this is the LAPD Sheriff's Department. Come out of the house with your hands up. And uh, they've been there for a while. So we're just gonna continue with the video. It kind of adds a little ambiance. I think Michael Bay would call that production value. I really want to take a moment and just show you the magnitude of how massive this tree is. I mean, when I was searching online for a tree in a cemetery that was big enough to have people sitting in it, I had no idea that it was this big. I mean, I knew it was big, but no idea that it was this big. Now, pretty much the entire start of this video, you can barely even touch it, can you? <laughs> Ryan Gosling is dressed in black and he's playing guitar and there's a bunch of people surrounding them. Ryan Shields has a, a tambourine. Has anybody seen my tambourine? And people are dancing and they're playing a song and they're singing. And they're, it's almost like a, a lively funeral, right? And then they turn and then they walk out there towards the sun. As they walk, they pass that tree that you can see off in the distance, and this tombstone right here. You can't really read it in the video because it's not the greatest quality, but it does say Thomas. As they are walking through the cemetery playing music and singing, the cameraman is behind this tombstone while he's moving with them, but you can see this tombstone perfectly as they make their way over to a statue. You know what? Living in Pittsburgh is whenever I first heard of Dead Man's Bones. And I think the very first taste of them for me was this music video. And I remember them standing in front of this statue with this tree behind it and thinking how beautiful it was, even in the, the black and white, low resolution music video. This is even more beautiful in person. No wonder they filmed this here. So from right about here, and excuse my expression, dead on, this is where the rest of the music video pans out. You can see the tree, the statue, Ryan Gosling would have been standing to the left. Jessica, you're standing right where Zach Shields would have been standing, playing the tambourine. Has anybody seen my tambourine? Every time I see or hear tambourine, I think of Tim Curry. But this is it. Neiman Stone. Such a simple location, and I can't believe we found it. I want to point out that at the time of recording this, it is Sunday. And back in the day, families used to go out on these like Sunday day trips to like cemeteries or somewhere fun with the family. And this is what the Grim Life Collective does on a Sunday. Go to a cemetery. It doesn't always have to be a big epic like video. Something small like a deep cut like Dead Man's Bones. Dead Man's Bones. Dead man's toes. Dead man's toes. Now you're ready to go try to track down a few other locations. This was the big one. There's a few other small ones that we want to show that kind of complete the story. I'm Ryan. I'm Zach. I'm Zach. Zach. We're, this is our band, Dead Man's Bones. This is our, our, our choir. Um, we made a record with the choir like about a year, I guess a year and a half ago, two years. And hopefully at the end there's a dance part where all the kids are going to dance. And uh, if you want to go, you can go, you gotta go, whatever. No, no, no pressure if you wanna leave or you, you wanna stay or anything. Why are you gonna serve this food? <laughs> <laughs> When it came to Dead Man's Bones, Ryan Gosling and Zach Shields played all of the instruments on the album, and it was very important to them that they do that because it was like a passion project. Now, what's really fun about this, I remember reading somewhere that they tried really hard not to do more than three takes. They wanted to keep it simple, and any imperfections, they wanted to, to capture that, to have this like raw feeling to it. We're in Pasadena right now. Aside from Name and Stone, Dead Man's Bones actually had another music video, this one for Pup Pup Power, Pup Pup Power. We can't get inside because it's a senior living center, but I can show you where it's at. I don't know what it is about Dead Man's Bones, but they always have this like very good feel to them. I mean, they have a children's choir singing with them. They're, they sing about loving monsters and ghosts. And this music video at this assisted retirement living center, uh, they actually played for the elderly here and they recorded it and it's a very beautiful video it's very kind of like mellow and laid back if you are familiar with the song then you know exactly what i mean
because the band was so short-lived, there's really not many photos of the band, like photo shoot wise. With that being said, there are two really interestingly beautiful photos that were taken of the band here on 4th Street Bridge in downtown Los Angeles. The first shot we're going to line up was taken from right about here. The band is standing in the middle of the street. They're holding umbrellas. It's a nighttime shot and the lamp posts are lit up. It's a beautiful, beautiful picture. Don't you hear that scary? Can't you hear that scary noise? Now this next photo is going to be a little bit more trickier to line up. You can see that the bridge is lined with these different lamp posts. They go all the way across the 4th Street Bridge. And in one of the photos, again, it's a nighttime shot. The band is standing on the pedestal with the lamps around them. They have like these like skeletons dancing around them, which aren't there in real life. But one of these, and we're gonna try to find it. This took a little bit of trucking, but I walked both sides of the bridge and I'm pretty darn certain that I found the the lamppost that the band was standing on for the photograph. This one right here. To give you an idea of what we're working with, that building right there in about the center of your screen, way off in the distance, that lines the road where the band was photographed with the umbrellas at nighttime. Center of your screen off in the distance, that's downtown Los Angeles. And then across the bridge is this lamppost right here. I'll let it be known, I am literally going to risk my life to try to get this shot. It is a busy road. I'm going to try to time it just right. I'm going to walk across and ah, a little bit of grim life movie magic, but this is it and I'll prove it. All right, I'm going to try this and not get splattered on the highway on the road because it is a busy road, but this is it. The light post from the photo shoot for Dead Man's Bones. This is definitely one busy bridge. That's as good as I'm gonna get. I'm hoping that's gonna be fine. I'll, I'll really only notice once we get into post and I start editing everything, but lamp post, dead man's bones. And from here, we have one more location. And believe it or not, it's kind of creepy. It's kind of spooky. I don't think it's intended to be, but when you see it, you're gonna scratch your head and go, wait a second. What's going on here? Can I just say that if the thought of a marionette theater doesn't give you nightmares, this building definitely will. This is the old Bob Baker marionette theater. I keep wanting to say Bob Barker. This is where Dead Man's Bones technically had a, it was like a three day residency. They played here for three nights back in 2009 for Halloween. As you can tell, this place has been shut down for quite some time and they actually have a new marionette theater over in Highland Park and it's a, a strange little place but can you imagine seeing dead man's bones here I mean it's kind of in a, a strange place it's underneath a bridge just on the outskirts of downtown Los Angeles no wonder they moved and there's just something extra spooky and extra perfect that even though the theater is now gone that this is still here and it still has the signage it's just kind of kind of spooky that's for sure. And in fact, there's actually a picture where we're right there on the marquee underneath where it says now playing. It says like a Halloween spooktacular. But this is it. I'm willing to bet that if we can get inside there, that there still is a theater of some sort that we can see. And I bet it looks pretty darn amazing. Now, with that being said, thank you for joining us on another grim adventure, this time telling the story of Dead Man's Bones. Check them out. Oh, yeah. Ryan Gosling, if you are watching this, we need our record signed. Please, can we make that happen? And if you're watching this and you know Ryan Gosling, uh, we need our record signed. Come on, let's make it happen. Till next time, happy Halloween. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always.